Before we start you need to have 3 things. Adobe Premiere Pro, Saber and Twixter plugins, and SUBSCRIBE! SMASH SUBSCRIBE! SMASH SUBSCRIBE! Hi guys, in this video you are finally going to be reark. Like yes, I'm serious. I'm sure you've been searching for this, because I did too. The only problem was, there were no one to guide me. So I had to learn it all by myself. Cut the bullshit, what the f*** you trying to be drama man now? Alright alright. So there you have it guys, your footage. Create a new sequence as the main sequence. For the settings you wanna make sure you have my same settings. You're free to change the resolution. Voila. Grab your clip into the timeline, and click on keep the existing settings. Grab the music and scale your clip. <laughs> then find the point where you want saber effect to be at. Now create a new sequence with the same settings. Let's name this Saber V1. Now copy your clip using Command plus C to the new sequence. Nest your clip, and apply Twix to plug in on it. You wanna copy my settings here. Then make a keyframe. Now choose your speed, and voila. As you can see it's already on super slow motion. Now go to opacity and create your mask around the character. Yeah, you better listen. I'm bringing heat. You'll be a fan when I start rapping. Way I'll have your fucking head spinning. I'm known as Big Vicious. Release bombs and go tick tick. Boom, you blow me that head missing. I'm a phenomenon. Stacking cheese like it's Parmesan. Eight different flows call me Octomom. I'm moving fast like the Autobahn. And I'm independent, so I'm not your fucking starving like it's Ramadan. Sick twist. Now duplicate your clip. Click on Alt and scroll up with your mouse. Nest your clip again and duplicate it to 3 videos. Now this sh** needs some math. Yeah bro, I'm serious. Create keyframes in both the clips. Oh, by the way, you can now delete the mask from the first clip. Voila. Set the position of one clip. I made horizontal position from 960 to 1300. Then get your calculator. So we are going to do this, then this, and voila. Oh, by the way, my math fucked up here. So just put the number to 1300 for the first clip and 620 for the second clip. Now select both of your keyframes and click on ease in. That made them smoother. <laughs> Now search for Saber plugin, aka Uniecto, and apply it to one clip. As you can see we are already reallocked now. You can change the color, or make it fade from one to one using keyframes. Now create two keyframes on the glow and intensity. Set the first one to zero and the second to one. Then copy and paste your saber effect to all of your other clips. Then just take your time and mess with your settings. Now delete the old clip and grab your saber v1 sequence to your main sequence. Again, take your time and mess with your settings. After that render your video, and voila, you're now re -arc. By the way, you can fade the out too. You now know how to use keyframes. I won't teach you this too. Now make the final touches to your clip.
voilà. I hope that you understood because if you didn't then at Mac. Oh, by the way, if you're looking for this effect, you'll need Adobe After Effects, because that's what the shop works with, and as you can see it's very similar to real op videos. Also, don't worry, I can show you that, just mash that fucking subscribe button. Oh, by the way, if you wanna thank me just watch this aggressive video that I made a few days ago, and sm SMASH SUBSCRIBE! SMASH SUBSCRIBE! You ain't gon' make it in life with no aggression I call him like 11, why we call me Tila Grisha? I pull up to my elementary, for some of the teachers But she just didn't have to be a dreamer Well now I'm doing something and you not Pace Tubby, I believe her They say you want money, more chance, create the problem Smash! Subscribe!